everybody, McGregor here, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. So, I, as you guys know, I've been sick for a while. I am feeling much better. Still having coughing fits here and there, but for the most part, I've been better. Unfortunately, I haven't been doing too, too much in TerraTech. At least I don't think I have been uh, since I last left you guys. I have made a couple of little things, as you can see there. And actually, we'll go over them real quick. And I would like to. Um, I want to make a hovercraft. At least, if not this episode, soon. So, we had a. Um, last season, we had a hover tank that I really liked. It seemed to work very well. But yeah, let me show you some stuff. Okay, so I do have some more turrets around the base, not many. But some. Um, the same ones that I put up on the workshop. I really like them. Those, they, they actually, they work pretty well. I made another turret over here. Let me switch over to it. Which is already on the workshop. And I haven't seen it do anything yet. Because nobody's been attacking here. But I wanted um, a turret that was a little bit cheaper then then my missile ones and I want to try something without missiles so that that's what this is so we'll see we'll see how well it does but the reason why I went with this cannon I do like this cannon the reason why I went with it is because our little mining base over here has been doing so well that's why I've been leaving it here even though that has some miners in place it does so well that I figured, you know what, I'll just leave it. Because it's been destroying everything. So. <laughs> yeah! So let's just drop this off real quick. I have a little mining station right here. This is not on the workshop, it's just... It's just batteries and solar panels. So. But I do have a little plane here. So. Oh. Yeah, see? They just destroy everything. Now, this plane has a unique feature. To, <laughs> to, um, to take off, you go backwards. And then it'll flip. And then you do that. Oh. Nope. Okay, let's try it again. And you flip. Oh. You know, it does work like that. I have such a hard time making this fly forwards. But backwards, it's just... There we go. So yeah, this is not on the Steam Workshop yet. I could put it up, actually. Probably will this episode. Yeah, I want to make a hovercraft. There, there's a couple of things I want to make. And you guys have been giving me suggestions, too. And I do thank you a lot for that. One thing I want to do is I want to make a new base. I want to replace this. I want to replace the crane. But that's going to take some work. And I don't, unfortunately, have time this episode for it. Um, because, my, well, it's my daughter's birthday soon. And <laughs> I shouldn't be ow, spending time on that. <laughs> uh, we. this I want to make a garage for my techs mm -hmm. let's go this way let's do this and huh. and I want to do a new um, auto miner type of little base because I, I after I built the one I did I figured out that um, you can't drop it on a node. And the other one was completely d obliterated by uh, a tech that spawned right there. Just smashed it to bits. So, <coughs> yeah, the design is not that great. Uh, what else? So, garage hovercraft, which we might do this episode. I also want to do kind of like um, a harvester. 
over so because I want to harvest a lot of these trees and I know there's some more nodes over here actually what I would also like to do is make another base of operations over come on render in here so I think are there a lot of sparklies here maybe not maybe not I know there's a lot of them like over here so there's a lot of material over here minerals that I want to harvest Whew. all right so let us get started let's let's do a hovercraft at least at least a tiny one so let me get back to base let me gather up my things and I'll be back with you Okay, so I would like to do some form of like a, a heavy hover tank, like a heavy tank, but that hovers. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Let us use. I don't know really what's the big difference between all these cabs, honestly. I know this one tells me the speed. So we're going to use that one. Oh wait, you are the AI. You look so much like the other one. There we go. Send you into the abyss. And let's drive you, okay. So let us start off with that. I'm not going to put AI on this thing because that's going to. It's just going to fly off. So. What? So let us put. Hmm. How big do I want this? I want it fairly big, and I want it fairly heavy. Okay, and let's take you out. Put you there. You there. Okay, it's hovering. Oops, I just pooped that out. Just go here, here. A lot of this innard stuff is going to change. I think anyways, we'll see. Okay. I will buy more more of these as as we go as time goes on, so don't worry about that. What else? Don't know what to put in the center just yet. I would like to put in an anchor. Like you. And I know we're not gonna be able to anchor. Are we? How if I'm up in the air. I hit anchor. Oh, okay, it snaps. Oh sweet. Okay. Well, that works. Hmm. I kind of don't like the shape. Here, let me fix this up a bit. Okay, I think I like just this a little bit more. Um. Weapons for the front. I would like to have this, like, designed a bit better than how I normally design my stuff. 
So kind of what I'm thinking, honestly, is putting in kind of like, like a trim, I guess. So, let's say like, Kind of like that, and then another one over here. And I could put maybe two in the center. And then it kind of goes all the way underneath. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. Hmm. Let me try that. Okay, let me set this up. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I decided to put this thruster in back here like this. I like the look of that. So it is... Oh, and I moved this down here. So now it does lock down. Actually, I can leave it locked down. We are going to need more um, thruster, uh, some more lift. Actually, I just realized something that I would like to change. Here, I'll be back. Okay, so here's the more final shape. I've added in kind of like this nose section. Well, I also added in some more uh, hovers, so it does now float. Of course, we can't turn or anything like that because we have no controls. There we go. Okay, so we need we need batteries, and we need what else do we need? We need weapons. So for batteries, let me. Move you aside. I think I'll put some batteries in here. Uh oh. Okay. And add in a lot more weight. Let's detach. Let's just see. Yeah. I'll fix all of this, I know, later on. Okay, so, but if I add in. Actually, if I move these back. That might actually help. That does. Actually, now we're going forward. Anywho. So, <laughs> let's see now. So, a couple of things that I would like. I would like to have some wings on this. I find that helps quite a bit. I would like to have some form of thrust. And normally these are pretty good. Let's just see. Yeah, I can put them over here. I don't have many of them though. 
The other thing is I could put in the smaller ones, these ones here, right in the grooves there. Kind of like... Just doing this quickly. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. My question is, do these still work like this? Okay, so they are turning us. Oh no! You guys always come whenever I am busy trying to build and they destroy my builds as I'm building. Yes. Go, go, go! My nose! Hmm, okay, so it does turn. So if I put you like that, and you like that. And then... All right, let me play around with this and yeah, you know Okay, just a little update on how it's going So far, it's, it's going better than expected So it is hovering for now I don't have any fuel. I forgot about that yeah, It's a little bit heavy in the back, but yeah, we know that too. But it is moving, it is turning. It's not super fast, but this is kind of like a heavy hover tank, I guess. Alright, alright. Go forward, go forward. Go in there. Now we're locked in. I have some um, of these things in there. The uh, what are they called? Turbine propellers over there. So I'm not sure how I'm going to um, do the back. I don't know if I'm going to cap it off or what. I know I could use lighter material, uh, but I want to go with the heavy stuff. I like the way it looks. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to continue on. And I'll be back. Okay, so here's what we... Whoa! Damn you, turret! So this is what we have right now. Definitely still not complete. I do want to see, though... This thing seems to be fairly stable right now. How well can this thing do like this? Let this throw me off. It doesn't seem to actually. Can't fly forward. <laughs> oh no, rough terrain! Oh, okay. Handled that f 
I guess fairly well. I'm testing here. I have these little hovers here to try to keep it from uh, hitting the ground when I'm turning. Not the side of mountains, though. Okay. I need uh, fuel for this thing. So far, it's coming together kind of nicely. I do want to put on... Let me these might help with the turning. Especially when I'm moving. thing is turning out nicely. It's slow to turn though. And that that will be fixed hopefully very soon. <laughs> Our lives depend on it. But actually, it's surprisingly stable right now. I could put turning thrusters here and some turning thrusters here. That would help out. Take that! The first kill! Now I gotta turn slowly. Okay. Gonna make some more modifications. Okay, so here's an update of what it looks like. Now, I'm not done. I don't, I'm not happy with the weapon choice I have, but I am running out of time. So, let's take this thing into combat. I did do a quick snapshot. Actually, you know what? Let me, even though that's not finished... Let me take a snapshot and I'll upload it to Steam. Uh, hovercraft. Tank. And upload. Still not done. I'm, the weapons are the things I'm not happy about right now. But it does turn better. It does have more fuel. The wings are kind of cosmetic and kind of not. They do have a small purpose. I do find that they do help while you're moving. Let's test out... Oh, did he despawn? Oh, I don't even have a radar on this thing. You know, that helps. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let us... There we go. Two little spinny knobs. Is he there or is he gone? I think he's gone. He's gone. We're not very fast, but that's not what this thing is made for. I need more um, turning thrusters in the front. That I know I need. And this thing is heavy. The handles. 
not really like it is heavy. You dare attack me? There we go. Oh yeah, I also got little lasers on this thing too. Just because. I think more venture weapons on this probably be better. Definitely more missile launchers. Because that's just what I like. I do like like the undercarriage design and all that. It does protect, you know, some of the um, the hover plates, hover pads. I'm going to really have to clean this place up now. Reminds me of when I used to play Legos. Ow. Excuse me. Let's see if we can find somebody else. So I'd probably change these to five, five-way hovers. That could work. I do want more in the front. I mean, I could put them underneath. There's a lot of places where I can hide some, um, some more of them if I really wanted to. It's a very slow turning cannon. There we go. It's not as bad because it's so heavy. It's not, doesn't feel very bouncy. It only has two gyros in it because, well, that's, that's all what I could afford. So, you could easily, though, replace, replace the hovers with, with treads if you really wanted to. Put the trace probably like in here. Come on, I want to play with this thing. Fight me! Okay, I added a couple more weapons to this thing. So let's see if this is any better. Well, in terms of killing potential. Missiles are still the main weapon. It definitely needs like more venture weapons. Like I said, I I feel like it needs more missiles. Launchers. I know my I know I like missile launchers, but it's what I like so Yeah, too bad <laughs> um, But yeah, I'll probably strip some of my other stuff here For more weapons for this. I do really like this a lot though but Yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments, but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this episode I didn't this version here is not up on Steam. The one where I saved on camera is the one that's up on Steam. So, you put on your own weapons. I might make a, maybe a more stripped down version or something. I don't know. I'm lazy. Probably not, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And yeah, if you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.